One of the most basic skills you need to learn with using Visual Studio Code is simply how to create new HTML files. Here in our folder, we see the Week 2 folder. I'm going to right-click on the Week 2 folder name itself. So right-click and select New File. And it moves down a little bit, but that's okay. We will type in Gettysburg, all lowercase letters, dot HTML. So Gettysburg, all lowercase letters, no spaces, and then dot HTML, and then press Enter. And when we do that, we see the Gettysburg HTML file open. Right now it's blank. We're going to press the exclamation mark. And if we have everything set up right with Emmet in our Visual Studio Code Editor, then when we press Tab, it will automatically expand that abbreviation and put in all of the code that we would otherwise have to memorize and type by hand. So this is one of the great benefits of using Emmet, is that it will populate our documents with a lot of code that has to be used every single time we have a new file, but we don't want to have to type this part by hand. Now it does leave one thing out, and that's here right after line 6. We're going to come to the end of this line and press Enter. And we need to include a new meta tag, so we'll type meta and then press Tab. We're going to come back inside this meta tag and hit one blank space and type name equals author. Then come after that double quotation mark, after author, and type in content equals. And then this is where you will type in your name as the author of the document. Now this is equivalent to what we used to have to do in school whenever we would sign our name on the papers of our homework. This is the way we would sign our work here inside of Visual Studio Code. Meta, name equals author, content equals Jimmy Fikes, and we'll learn more about what meta tags mean later. But this is how you create an HTML file inside of Visual Studio Code, and of course we want to use Control-S to save that, and then we're ready for our next steps.